Hey, welcome back to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get set up on a pair of CDJs and a mixer, just like on a club setup, if you're a Serato DJ user. Now in this particular video, we're going to look at something called HID mode, which means you can turn CDJs pretty much into a controller. There are other modes like DVS mode, which we've got a separate video, which that shows you how to set up DVS mode. And there you could also take your controller to a club and plug it directly into one of the channels. Again, we have another video that we'll link that shows you exactly how to do that. But in today's video, we're going to look at HID mode. Let's take a closer look. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. So when playing in a club, you'll rock up to the club and you'll be presented with some equipment that looks something similar to this right here. So we've got the DJ, DJM 900 Nexus 2 and the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 players here. Now then, how to get your laptop plugged in. So I have two USB cables here. These are the same USB cables you will use for something like your controller. Um, they just plug in one into the back of here and one into the back of here. Let me just look over the back. And now we have the CDJs connected directly and plugged in to the laptop. So that's what you're going to want to do, just one in each CDJ directly into the laptop. If you use multiple things in your laptop, you might need to invest in a USB hub so that you can plug multiple things into your laptop and still have, say, hard drives and whatever else plugged in. Once you have your CDJs plugged in correctly and you've got your USB cables going from the CDJs to the laptop, there is one more USB cable going to need to plug in and that's from the laptop to the mixer itself. Now there are a range of supported DJ mixers for Serato DJ, which means you can plug in and with the full Serato license, you'll be able to then access Serato DJ. Um, if you don't have a mixer in front of you that has a USB slot on it, then you will need a sound card or an interface. So something like this, this is an old Rain SL3 that I own. Um, we've got a separate video on how to set up sound cards like this, which we can link. Um, this is more used for DVS. A lot of the latest club mixers will have some sort of USB slot on there for you to plug straight in. Next, we need to change the channel selectors. So we're plugged into channels two and three on this mixer, and we need to make sure that we change it from the line across to the USB, which is USB A in this case. So we click them both across and we'll notice on the Serato screen, suddenly the decks are now active. So if we switch back, for example, to line, you'll see it says through on the screen. This means you could plug a USB into this CDJ, for example, and play a track just straight from the CDJ. If you want to then take over on the laptop, you can switch across and it's as simple as that. Now we need to link the CDJs, the, the mixer's set up, but we need to link the CDJs to the Serato software so they act as your new controller. If we press link here on the CDJ, it pops up with this, which says USB MIDI, and it says push to connect. So we click using this rotator device, we click it in to connect to the laptop, and then it says turn encoder to choose Serato deck, and we've got the Serato logo. So as we turn this, we'll notice some numbers appear, and you'll see one, two, three, and four. So we can choose which deck we want this CDJ to control. This being on the right hand side, I want it to control deck number two. Click it in and that's set up. We repeat the process on the opposite side, rotate. It might be hidden slightly just from my laptop, but number one there. Now, both CDJs are connected, enabled and control Serato DJ Pro. You can click on browse on a CDJ and scroll up and down your library and it does the same on the actual software. Just note that if you do it on one side, it will also scroll up and down on the opposite CDJ. That's just how it works. Click to load a song in and then you can toggle off browse if you want to see more information now. At the moment, it doesn't show you the scrolling waveform, it just shows the overview waveform. On newer CDJ models, this may change, but obviously you have the waveforms on your screen as well. Press play, the track's playing. You've got all your usual controls on the CDJ, like tempo adjust here. You have a master tempo, which is actually key lock in Serato. So you can turn that on and off there. You can change the tempo range, plus or minus six to 10 to 16 to 100. So you can set that up how you like. 
You've got vinyl and CDJ mode. Obviously, if you're a scratch DJ, you need to have it on vinyl mode using the jog mode here. Then you have all of those performance features, well, the most popular ones that you would be using anyway on the CDJ. Hot cues and loops in particular. All of the other performance features like slicer mode or roll and things like that or pitch play aren't directly accessible on the actual CDJ. So just bear that in mind. If you want to use those features, you'll need an add-on controller like the DDJ SP1. On the CDJ to set a hot cue, just tap one of these buttons here and that will set a hot cue. If you already have hot cues set, then they will show up here and you can toggle them there. Then this button, we've got manual in and out adjust buttons, but you might have something like here, like a four beat loop um, where you can toggle it on and off. I'll just do this on the opposite side because this CDJ, these buttons don't work very well on it. So I can toggle a four beat loop here. I can half it using these buttons or double it. Change the length of that loop there. And then to get out of a loop, press this re-loop and exit. And it continues playing. You also have slip mode available as well, if that's something you use on your controller. Cue and play work as normal. And that's how you would plug Serato DJ Pro into CDJs and a DJM mixer. Just bear in mind, all the things on the mixer work as normal, like your EQs, you've got sound color effects which you can use. Just be aware though that the effects channel works slightly differently. So if you've got a controller, a Serato controller that has the three effects across the top or a couple of effects across the top of each player, you lose those effects unless you get an add-on controller, like mentioned, like the DDJ SP1. But you do have access to these effects on the DJM mixer. Now something, a few notes to bear in mind here is if you're playing a song, let's say on channel three, we would select the channel here. Then let's choose an echo, for example. And just bear in mind, it's on auto and the auto BPM just takes a few seconds to catch up in time. So if I suddenly move that, it's gone to 130, it takes a few seconds. Go down, 121, and it takes a few seconds to get in time. Then you can choose your beat fraction using these arrows here. So we've got half a beat, and then you turn it on at the bottom with this blue button. Other mixes, this button might be orange, but it works in exactly the same way and they do still work post fader. So you can create a nice echo out like that. It is a bit of an adjustment to go from a controller to something like a CDJ DJM setup, but as long as you know how to get set up, don't do too much on your, some of your first DJ sets, just use those basic features and get comfortable with the layout, then you'll be away. There you are, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something new in this video and good luck to anyone who is doing one of their first DJ sets in a club soon. Make sure to comment below if you are and thank you again for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.